One for Every One Family was a motto coined in 2010 that today has grown into a multi-point vision for the city's future. Classroom Building 3 on the educational campus along Broad Street is nearing completion. Fairburn forward-thinking city leaders are working to prospectively locate a satellite campus of Atlanta Tech at this facility in 2015. This will offer area residents additional opportunities for higher education, GED certification, and employment training. The senior living facility will be completed in 2015. Located behind the police station, the city's elderly residents will soon have a safe place to live and enjoy daily activities. The downtown plaza is nearing completion. The stage and courtyard area will bring all of the city's citizens together for outdoor activities throughout the year in the spirit of fellowship. Economic development is ongoing along Highway 74 at I-85. Fairburn leaders in concert with the cities of Tyrone, Peachtree City, and the Fayette County Commission are developing a master plan for Highway 74 development. Fairburn has also won approval from the Georgia Department of Transportation for an I-85 interchange to improve the flow of rush hour traffic on and off the interstate. At Duncan Park, the newly constructed press box, food concession, and restroom building, along with the practice field, were completed. Recreational opportunities abound for area residents seeking to exercise and participate in on-field activities. Future plans for a water feature are underway that will offer citizens warm weather fun. The city of Fairburn celebrated its 160th birthday with 14,000 residents, visitors, and friends at this year's Fall Festival. Alabama State University, a and &E Broadcast Network, and the Georgia Greater Air Show participated. The city of Fairburn consists of six council members who are Ron Alderman, Lydia Glaze, Alex Heath, Elizabeth Hertz, Marion Johnson, and Hattie Bordis jones The Honorable Mario Avery is entering his sixth year as mayor and leads the effort to bring the city's vision for one Fairburn, one family to fruition. City Administrator Tom Barber works with a team of department directors to manage the municipality's daily operations. City Clerk Brenda James is responsible for the proper parliamentary procedure for city council meetings to ensure protocol standards are maintained. The city navigated itself from a $397,000 deficit to its current $1.3 million surplus. The city's credit rating has improved to what is the equivalent of a 750 on your personal credit score. This allows the city to issue bonds at affordable terms to fund projects. Public Utility Department handles the the electrical needs of commercial and residential customers. A reliable team of eight electricians, along with a small fleet of vehicles, work to power buildings and street lights and ensure that dependable power runs through the city. The Code Enforcement Department works to keep the city beautiful. A branch of the Police Department, Code Enforcement Officers patrol residential and commercial properties to ensure they are in compliance with local ordinances. This keeps the city clean and attracts future residents and businesses. Hi, I'm Mayor Mario Avery. On behalf of the Fairburn City Council and myself, we thank all our residents, business owners, and friends that allowed the city of Fairburn to demonstrate its unity and strength during 2014. From the Fairburn Fall Festival that brought over 14,000 residents and friends together to celebrate Fairburn's 160th birthday to the various construction projects that will continue to bring our Fairburn family together through education, through entertainment, through sports, and last but not least, living together in our new Fairburn Senior Living Facility. We thank you as we continue to build one Fairburn, one family.